the design here calls for a turfed area, grass area through here, and you may just be able to see if I zoom in a little that um, the hatching through this area is, is of course uh, in, a, in a grass pattern, uh, but it's been done in a series of zones. My current drawing colour is magenta, my current layer is lawns. You can just change your layer very easily by just clicking on the appropriate layer name. So I'm drawing on that lawns layer now. And what I'm going to do is to use the boundary command to draw a single polyline around this lawned area. And that will overcome the need to set up certain zones within the space. So it's draw boundary and the boundary automatically drops straight into picking an end point or an intersect point. So I'll just start there, come across here and move down to there. You can see how easy it is to create a boundary all the way around. You can right click and go into an arc mode if you strike an arc. So there's an arc being put in and you can still use the um, although it's dropping into intersect and endpoint, you can still use, say, the near option and come to here. So you've got great control over the boundary. You work your way around the space and hit the same point, point where you started and the boundary will be created. Let's cancel from there and we'll move over here. And if I select, I've used a boundary command to draw this a boundary which is of course a polyline all the way around that area and that makes hatching really quite straightforward. So it's hatch and you just pick the boundary entity, hit enter, give it some sort of scale, I'll guess about 700 and in goes our hatching. Once the hatching's in place, in many instances you can just kill the boundary line and the hatching uh, is now in place. If I undo that hatching and leave the polyline there because the hatching is associative you can just pick the polyline and as we move the hatch control points as I'll do now the hatching automatically moves and gives us space say for a step to that door and if I need to I can add a vertex so that would enable me to move that one around there I might need to add another vertex so I can fine-tune my and let's unselect or fine-tune my hatching which is as I said associative so wherever you put a new point the hatching drags with you but again I'm a fan of removing the hatching after it's done so we hope you like the boundary command.